eating healthy on a beer budget. It's kind of a contradiction there. The beer budget. Beer is not necessarily healthy. I'm a nutritionist and eating healthy is very important to me. It always amazes me these bloggers that I follow that show what they eat in a day or take a video of them going to the grocery store and the stuff that they buy. I went to a natural food store that we have locally here the other day and they have a jar of coconut yogurt with probiotics in it. Forgot what the brand was. But you know, it's in this big beautiful jar and has this beautiful label on it and I've seen these bloggers talking about how amazing this stuff is. I go to check it out and I think it was $18 or something. How can I justify spending $18 on coconut yogurt? That's absolutely not in my budget at this point in my life. For those of you that it is feasible, I say more power to you. Whole Foods is the Disneyland of natural food stores. Nutritionists walk in there and are in heaven, but for those of us that can't necessarily afford to spend $300 on a shopping trip at the grocery store, what always bugs me about Whole Foods is their produce section is 80% conventional fruit and vegetables. Sprouts is another popular natural food store, and I also find them expensive. They sort of take everything that they sell and sell the smallest version of it and then charge double the price that you would pay at a normal grocery store. I would like to give you some first-hand tips on how to save money and still eat healthy. If you're just now breaking into the natural and organic world of food, then you're going to have to do a transition period with your kitchen to make it more of a healthy environment. So what I'm gonna go over is what stores to shop at for what, where you save tons of money, and how important it is to create a plan, make lists, and it'll just overall make your entire life so much easier, and you'll also save a ton of money. Now I know every city has different stores, so I'm gonna sort of focus on the ones that are more widespread, the chain stores, and how you can find cheap organic food in those places, and which places have the best of what. First, what I want to start with is where to buy your seasonings. If you don't have organic seasonings, I do recommend, if you can, to switch, make the switch once you're through with your other seasonings, because they last you a long time, and they are going into your food that you're making every day, so I think it's really important that you do choose high quality seasonings if you can. You can find organic seasonings for a lot cheaper these days from places like Walmart, from Target, from Kroger grocery stores because they're making their own brand. This is a great way to get your organic seasonings for half the price of what the big brands are selling them for. Next would be your baking supplies such as your flour, your baking soda, your baking powder. You want to go to big box grocery stores and you can find Bob's Red Mill brands, which are really affordable and I love his stuff. I think that his all-purpose flour is amazing. Always buy organic cooking oils when you can. And you can find a giant thing of avocado cooking oil from Costco that's organic. You can find big things of organic canola oil or organic mixtures like they have one that I love you can get at a normal grocery store and it's an avocado coconut oil mix and it's for high heat which is what you want. Keeping organic rice and organic pasta on hand is a great way to save money. What's nice about rice and pasta is it doesn't really go bad. So you can just keep those in your pantry and use it whenever you want to. Having cans of things available is really good. Cans of beans, cans of tomato sauce, organic soups. Basically having organic canned food available is always a helpful thing to do. I always keep bread in the fridge because it keeps it longer 
You can just throw it in the toaster to warm it up. Buying store brands is going to save you so much money. I love the Trader Joe's store brands. I love the Kroger store brands that are organic, which is called Simple Truth, I believe. And Whole Foods has their 365 brand, which is pretty affordable. Sprouts has their own brand. If you can stick to those, then I think you're going to save quite a bit of money. I know that some of us tend to find brands that we love over the years. You sort of have to compromise when you're on a budget and you still want to eat healthy and get those higher quality ingredients. I love Costco. Costco is my saving grace for finding great deals on organic food in giant sizes. And what's amazing is you can find organic frozen vegetables, fruits, veggie patties, things like that that you can put in your freezer, keep in there for a really long time, and just bring that stuff out when you want it for dinner. If you feel like you aren't getting a lot of fruits or veggies throughout your day because you can't make the run to the store to get fresh produce or it's too expensive to get organic produce right now, then I make smoothies, which are a great afternoon snack or a great way to start off your day in the morning. And you can buy big bags of spinach, big bags of mixed fruit, and things like that at places like Costco. Like I have these giant bags that are just amazing. I just pull those out. I have these giant bags of broccoli that I can whip up for dinner or if I just feel like having a snack. And I love that. Bananas, it's right there. Bananas are an amazing snack. They are a staple in smoothies. The problem with bananas is they do go bad. And a lot of times people will just throw their bananas in the trash once they get that super freckly look and they're very soft. But I never think it's a good idea to throw away bananas when they're super ripe because that is like the ultimate amazing stage of their life where you can make wonderful smoothies with them or you can make banana nut bread because ripe bananas make the best banana nut bread. So what I do when they're at that stage is I take them and I take off the peel, I slice them up, and I put them in a freezer bag and then throw that in the freezer, pull that out every time I make smoothies, and it's super awesome because they're already frozen so I don't have to add ice to my smoothies. Throw in some more of the frozen fruit and frozen vegetables that I have in the fridge. Another thing that's wonderful about Costco is you can find a lot of things that come in bulk packages such as organic butter, organic eggs. So you can find those so much cheaper than in the normal grocery stores and you're getting way more. What I always do is I know what products that I love and I know what I use on a daily basis. So when I go to the store and I see the things that I normally use on sale, I try to buy the product when it's on sale so that in the future I don't have to pay full price for that same product. I really wish that we had a filtered water system here, but we don't, so I have to find good deals on water. So I usually buy those big jugs that you can put in the fridge. And what's amazing about those is it lasts you a long time. You aren't wasting tons and tons of plastic by buying water bottles. And I usually use my Hydro Flask, which is awesome. And I keep that with me throughout the day and make sure I stay nice and hydrated. You don't want to worry about getting dehydrated because you're trying to save money on water. There is one luxury item that I do buy and I'm sure all of us have one thing that we splurge on and mine is health aid kombucha. That's my little treat at night when I've had a long day and I just want to sit down and watch Netflix or something with some kombucha. That's what I have. It's worth it to me. It is $3.99 a bottle but I can actually a lot of times have half of it one night and half of it the next night. I don't have it every night, so it is a luxury item and I treat it like that. You can't go out 
and buy expensive Starbucks drinks when you're on a budget. To save money, I do make my own coffee at home and it's low acid, has tons of antioxidants in it, and my creamer is almond milk. This stuff is golden to me. Another way to save money with water is getting a nice water filtration thing. And we keep one in the fridge, and that's what we use to make coffee with, make tea with, many other things to boil water with. I don't particularly like the flavor of that water, so I don't drink that water straight, but it works great for all those other things. I want to do another video on this particular subject, but I also want to mention buying organic and GMO-free supplements is definitely something you can still do when you are on a budget. So where I usually buy most of my supplements from is from Amazon. I don't always like supporting Amazon, but in that case, they are the cheapest and that is what I'm looking for right now. For those of you that don't want to shop from Amazon, VitaCost is another great option. They have a lot of sales as well, but they seem to be the most comparable in price to Amazon. You can create a subscription on Amazon and save 15% on every single product that you create that subscription with and figure out, okay, I'm going to run out of that vitamin in three months, so I'm going to have that be ordered in three months, and then that'll be on my doorstep. Right, right around the time that I need it. You can cancel your subscription at any time, so that's a good thing. If you can buy your vitamins in bigger quantities and save money that way, that's also a good thing. Don't compromise on the quality of vitamins that you take. Don't buy store brands. That is one place I don't recommend you do that. Do your research on your vitamin brands and make sure you're choosing high quality supplements. Like I said, I'm going to do more blog posts and videos on that particular subject. We keep eating out to a minimum. We love to go and we have some favorite places that we like to eat at. We save those places for special occasions. We go out maybe once, twice a week at the most. And that saves us a ton of money. If you're going to go someplace like the zoo or to a park, bringing your own food and beverage saves you tons of money. This is the same case as if you're going to travel. To sort of summarize what we went over here on how to save money when you are trying to eat healthy and eat organic, you want to try to buy in bulk the things that aren't, aren't perishables. Keeping frozen fruits, vegetables, and other foods is a great way to save money because it doesn't go bad and you can get a lot more for cheaper. Buying organic products when they are on sale will save you tons of money. Finding places such as Amazon where you can get supplements and other organic products for cheaper. Eating in instead of eating out. Keeping dry foods such as organic rice, organic pasta, organic canned foods, things like that on hand will save you money and they don't go bad. Being sure to plan and organize dinners for the week is going to save you more money because things that you buy aren't going to go bad because you're going to use them in a timely manner and you won't be buying things that you don't need as well. Be sure to check out my blog where I'm going to give you healthy tips and meal ideas and recipes and all of that good stuff. Thank you so much for watching and feel free to leave me a comment, contact me if you have any questions. I'm always here for you and I will see you next time.